Being peaceful is what your higher self wants. It's what transforming your life is all about. And any thought or any belief that you have that keeps you from peace in your life is one you want to discard no matter how long you've had it or how much you've cherished it or what the tradition is in your family or in your country. If it doesn't bring you peace, then you don't need it. Judge not. If you see someone who is very different from you in physical appearance or in age or in economic status, use your mind to send them love rather than a judgmental thought. We have so many of those judgmental thoughts when we see someone who is older, when we see someone who is younger, when we see someone who has a different custom than we have, when we see someone who wears different jewelry or has body decorations or something that we don't go along with. When you see someone like that today, whoever they may be, whether it's someone who is begging on the street or whether it's someone who is uh, wearing a certain kind of clothes or acting in a certain way as you're driving, try not judging them and just seeing the unfolding of God in them. Try sending them love rather than judgment. Begin to change the vocabulary you use to describe yourself and your expectations. Instead of saying, maybe, if I'm lucky, or perhaps, and one never knows, use words and phrases such as, absolutely, certainly, and I know I can. When you use these kinds of words that reflect an absence of doubt, you're going to begin to conduct your life in the very same way. Watch out for those things that sort of communicate to others and to yourself that you don't really have within you the capacity to manifest what you want for yourself in your life. You cannot have a better past, so abandon that idea right now. You did what you knew how to do given the circumstances of your life. Instead of indulging in regrets, let your thoughts remain on love and let your actions stem from that love. The past is over and you did what you knew how to do and you no longer are that person. So don't fill yourself with blame and angst about what you might have done in the past. Learn from it and know that you are a new soul today. Learn from it and know that you are a new human being today. Let go of all the beliefs that convince you of your inadequacies and shortcomings. Clean out that closet of worn out loyalties to what you can and cannot do. Just open yourself up right now in this moment. Just be. Spend a day silently reciting the word love whenever you encounter another human being. This practice has such a positive effect that you may choose to use it as a silent background mantra throughout your day. Just repeat over and over inwardly, love, 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 and just say it. If you say it a hundred times, you're going to begin to feel the expression emanating and radiating outward from yourself. Make an attempt to shift your career objectives from self-absorption to a calling. Use your talents and your special interests to fulfill your service with your calling. Your life work will take on a dramatic shift toward abundance, and you're going to begin to feel that you are on purpose. You have a calling. You are here for a heroic mission. Think of everything that you do in this day as a part of that calling, and you'll begin to rid yourself of some of the extraneous kinds of things and judgments that you have about your life. Be still and know. These four words will help you get past striving and help you get to know the bliss of being here now. When you allow yourself to be still, you will understand the futility of constant striving or chasing after more. Keep those four words in mind today. Be still and know. Notice the acts of kindness that other people do rather than their wrongdoing. We are all good, and decent, and loving souls, but we occasionally get lost. When you can focus on the good in another and hold that in your mind, you're acting from your higher self. And this is called transforming your life. Spend special moments in awe of the miracle that life truly is. Awe is the loving appreciation for God's work in the presence of the divine intelligence. Be in awe 